the charge points charger network is quite extensive but uh, the handles to the charge port are usually locked. So what I'm gonna show you today is how you can unlock the station and, and charge on it. Most of them are free, but the, the installation that is hosting the, the charger actually owns it and they get to set their pricing. Here we're at uh, Tanger Outlets today, theirs is free. So first thing you'll need to do is you'll use the ChargePoint app or the, you can get a ChargePoint card. It's a RFID card. And then if you don't have either of those, you can call the number on the station, but I've already got these. So if you've got a, a phone with NFC, which would be a later model iPhone or a lot of the Androids, you'll take your J1772 adapter, if you have a Tesla, if you don't have a Tesla, then you're already set, because that's what they use. Alright, so we'll remove the phone. Okay, you'll open your charge port, insert your adapter, and then you'll authenticate with the station. So you don't actually need to have the app open after you connect it, you, can just, you just have to have it running once per, uh, per, per time that you start your phone. So you hold your NFC up against it, it'll authenticate, unlock, and you're good to go. Most of these are 30 amps, and usually 208 volts, sometimes 240 volts. Okay, so when you want to complete your charging session, you just take your phone, hold it up to the charge point, and then it will register your session has ended. You don't have to do that step, but if you don't, you'll get a text message that somebody has interrupted your charging and uh, you won't get all your stats, so that helps. So using a charge point station requires extra steps over, say, a Tesla supercharger or destination charger, but the beauty is that you can find them at places like, like malls. They're all over the place. Uh, most of them are free, some of them have a charge. If it's not free, you need to look and see if it's worth the charge. Some of them cost about eight times or four times the price of gasoline, and some of them are really just the, the parking fee is in there. So like it might be a dollar for a gas car to park and then you'll find out that it ends up being a dollar an hour for you to use the charge point station. So sometimes it's convenient, sometimes it's not. So I want to thank you for watching this quick video on how to use a charge point station. And I uh, want to ask you to click the like button and you can subscribe below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you.